Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my law firm assists physicians with employment contract issues. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about what are the different types of medical malpractice insurance. Uh, this is a frequent topic that comes up when I'm reviewing a contract. Uh, I would say during med school or training, most physicians are not kind of given a breakdown of the different types of uh, malpractice insurance. So uh, it's always a good idea when I'm talking to a physician who's relatively new and they don't understand the difference, just to kind of give a brief breakdown of each one and then maybe the pros and cons of each. Uh, so there are th three main types of professional liability insurance for physicians. You have self-insurance programs from big hospital networks, and then uh, most private practice will utilize one of two, either occurrence-based coverage or claims-made insurance. Uh, so let's just kind of talk about three of them. Uh, first, self-insurance. So large hospital networks will usually have their own kind of policy. Uh, in the simplest way, they'll set aside a pot of money, pay claims out of that. Uh, so in that circumstance, generally, you the uh, physician doesn't have to worry about purchasing tail insurance. That'll be covered by the uh, employer's self-insurance program. Uh, this is great. I mean, it's great insurance when a physician never has to worry about tail, doesn't have to worry about paying for the underlying premium. Uh, that is, um, you know, kind of a nice, secure feeling. Uh, so that's kind of what most large hospital networks utilize. Uh, the uh, next type is occurrence-based coverage. And so what that means is a policy has to be in effect when the event actually occurs. So uh, obviously any kind of malpractice event is going to occur while you're employed with the employer. Uh, so you are covered uh, in perpetuity if an occurrence-based policy is in place and then something happens. Uh, so the benefit of occurrence-based uh, insurance is that you don't need to purchase tail insurance. Uh, <clears throat> the downside is it costs more than a claims-made policy. So a good rule of thumb is occurrence is about uh, a third more expensive than claims-made policies annual premium. So just to give an example, so let's say you have a claims-made policy that's 6000 then your occurrence-based coverage would be around 8,000 per year. Uh, there is a math kind of equation that needs to be taken into account uh, to determine what is the best policy for a physician, and I'll, I'll get into that at the end. Um, but honestly, most of the time, physicians don't have a choice between an occurrence-based policy or a claims-made policy. It's whatever the employer chooses to provide. That's what the physician has to go for. Uh, so the last one is claims made. And so what that means is a policy has to be in effect when the claim is actually made. So when someone uh, terminates contract and they no longer work for the employer, there still is a gap in between their last day of practice with that employer and then the last day somebody can sue. So that's called the statute of limitations for a malpractice claim. In most states, it's two years. So uh, if there is no policy in effect, if a claim is made, then the physician is in trouble. So nearly every employer will require one of the parties to purchase tail insurance. And so tail insurance simply covers that gap in between the last day that a physician works for the employer and then the last day somebody can sue them. Now, uh, it's two years from when the patient either knows or should have known of a malpractice incident. So it's possible that it can go past two years if there was no way for the patient to know until you know a few, few years down the line. Uh, I'd say most of the time, if a physician is working for a private practice, small physician-owned group, something like that, they're going to have to be the one that purchases the tail policy. Uh, there are employers that will pay for it, but I'd say uh, more times than not, the physician is responsible for their own tail. 
Uh, tail costs about two times what the annual premium is. So uh, if a physician has a $10,000 annual premium, you just multiply that times two, and then that's about how much they'll have to pay for tail insurance. It's a, it's a one-time cost. So you don't have to pay it every single year until the statute of limitations runs. It's just a one-time cost as soon as you finish the employer and then you're covered for that amount. Now, there can be different lengths as far as the tail policy goes, but most of the time the tail policy will simply cover the reasonable amount of time until the statute of limitations is over. So somewhere between you know, two to five years. Uh, so uh, as I mentioned before, as far as the math equation, so if a physician does have their choice of either occurrence or claims made, then you need to think about how long you're gonna be with the employer. So if you're paying a third more for occurrence coverage per year, but you don't have to pay tail, then it might make sense to utilize that uh, if you're uh, you know, gonna be there on maybe a short-term basis. So you know, let's say you're there for two years, you're gonna pay a third more for two years, but then you don't have this big you know, one-time cost at the end. Uh, if you're in a claims made policy and you're going to be somewhere long term, then it might make sense to use claims made. Uh, therefore, your you know annual premium is cheaper, but then you'll still have that that hit on the end with the with the tail coverage. Um, <clears throat> which one is better? It, it honestly just depends upon the situation, and then it certainly depends upon specialty. Uh, the annual premium can vary pretty wildly. Uh, so, you know, like primary care peds or something like that can be 6,000 a year, uh, whereas uh, OBGYN, you know, one of the higher level surgeons, cardiac surgeon, neurosurgeon, something like that could be, you know, between 20 to 50,000 a year. And then just do the math on that tail cost. It could be, you know, 40 to 100,000 for their tail. So it's also specialty dependent as well. This certainly is something that we negotiate, you know, when we're looking at a physician contract, uh, you always have to take into account, okay, what's most important to the physician? And then what are the areas that we have, you know, we can work on um, either more comp or time off, you know, better bonuses, whatever, uh, but, but who, who pays for talent insurance certainly uh, is a pretty important piece for most physicians, especially the ones in those higher end specialties. Uh, so anyway, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, you can always contact my law firm at the phone number listed below in the description, or you can reach us through our website, shellylaw.com. That's C-H-E-L-L-E law.com. Appreciate you watching the video. Thanks.